If you're happy, then I'm happy you're happy. I wish sometimes I could just be content making minimum wage. I sometimes wish I could be content on welfare and barely getting by, but I'm just not that guy. And so if, if you're that person, God bless you. What's the definition to me of a loser? A loser is somebody who talks big game and doesn't do anything. See, I was a very nice loser. A loser, I was a loser. Nice loser, very kind, really nice to hang out with. I threw the best parties and all my friends, they were the best people. I mean, super nice and friendly and, and will do, give you the shirt off their back. I had to start recognizing who who is in this field hitting the goals that I'm hitting. Associate myself with those people. See, I wanted to do all these things and I was hanging out with people that had nothing to do with any of that. And that's all right, except my goal was really important, so I had to change things. Associate yourself with people who want the same thing. Toastmasters, that's what I did. I didn't know those people when I got started. I just had to go by myself. If you want to learn how to surf, hang out with surfers. If you want to be a bodybuilder, hang out with bodybuilders. If you want to be a bodybuilder, you're not going to be hanging out with airline pilots. And now two years goes by, the people that I've surrounded myself with are just really top-notch people, high-level people, and that rubs off. And I would advise you to do the same. Video two, tip number two, making it short and sweet. Now you're gonna start working on your goal now that you're starting to work on uh, better habits. Step two, know what your goal is. Remember, you're already working on your bad habits, you're already working on your fitness, you're already working on your mental, you're already working on your sleep, you're already working on your health. Get that out of the way, that was step one. You don't fix them overnight, but once you start implementing the right habits so you can uh, make new habits, you can start working on the goal that you had. Usually people already have the goal. They can have a lot of bad habits, but they still have a goal. I know bums that live under a bridge and they have a goal. Define it. I Don't say I want to make more money because I'll give you a quarter right now and congratulations you have hit your goal. Define your goal. What exactly is it? And then two, get passionate about it. Super passionate about it. If someone's more excited about what you're doing than you are, you're probably not going to make it very far. Get passionate about your goal. Now this is very important. So. If you want to try first and say, okay, listen, by the, by the time summer gets here, I want to lose 30 pounds. That's great. Say six months, you want to lose 30 pounds. Six months goes by and you don't lose any weight or you don't hit your goal or you even get close to it. You need to think of a different strategy because saying six months down the way, what you've done actually is just pushed it down the road. I've seen people say in six months, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. And then a month later, you say, hey, what's going on? And they say it again. In six months, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. No. You mean five months. So if it doesn't work and you get down and summer shows up and you're like, crap, here I am, I'm still here, stuck again. Then what you need to do is make small checkpoints for yourself. They might be 30 day checkpoints. They might be two week checkpoints. Personally for me, I was in such bad shape. My checkpoints were every single night before I went to bed. And that's the checkpoints that you set up to hit a goal. And that's very important. All of this information, all this information that I give over the last two years only applies to people who really will do anything to accomplish a goal. Find your goal, define it. What exactly is it? What exactly is it? Get as specific as you can on a piece of paper and then get passionate about your goal. Hang out with people who share the same goals and interests for you. That helps. That rubs off on you. But anyway, thanks for coming on. That was video two, step two. My name is Jonathan Fontana. Remember, you always pick your mood, so pick a good one. Have a good one.